Pop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Hey everyone, I'm Adam here from Bell All Souls with Evan from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And we're back with another Tabletop Spotlight. Yes. Super fun. Huh? Super right. Yes. I'm really excited. <laughs> uh, this is a little box. Yes. Lots of fun in this big little box. Yeah, there's, I mean, it's an only card game. Well, yes. I say only. Uh, but it was out of stock for a while. It was a Kickstarter. Very, very, very successful. Very successful Kickstarter. And it wasn't really available for distributors for a while. Yeah. Uh, it's finally back out. It's going to be, I mean, it's being ma mass produced. Yeah. Fantastic little game. Yeah. I am so excited. Can show. you give the folks at home just a quick rundown of uh, what Super It's Fighters. kind of like a mashup game. Okay. So you have a black card and a white card. If you're familiar with Cards Against Humanity, it's it simple, it's simple like that, but it's different. Uh, your black card has a noun of thing, so let's say a T-Rex for example. T-Rex, okay. And then the white cards are abilities or adjectives to the T-Rex. Okay. So for example, you can have a T-Rex that has a lightsaber and throws grenades. The okay. point of the game is to figure out which of these creations would win in a fight. So okay. if you think about it, that's kind of terrifying, that... but a T-Rex with a, a, a lightsaber and a and grenade yeah, he's, wouldn't he's be that great because they're the, small arms, you know? Yeah, the reach. Um, another one I saw, too, an example, where like flying kindergartners, uh, there's a game mode where you can give other people adjectives or yeah. uh, abilities, and so if someone gave them, it was a flying kin kindergartners. Which sounds they're, terrifying. They're terrified of heights, though. And now they're so not kind of makes them like, oh, then they're useless, you know? Yeah, so yeah. That's basically and There are multiple ways to play. You can either vote on your favorite kind of combo. Yeah, or and we'll can... get into that when we get to the yeah. rules, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, or you can fight them against each other and kind of argue about who's it's a nice social game. game. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like a lot of fun. I think so, we should take a look inside. Yeah, it's been out for a while, but uh, I, I want to do it. Let's take a look inside. Super fight time! Yes. It's a game of absurd arguments. arguments. Yes. Yes. It's, it's, uh, You're going to argue with your friends. Skybound Games. Yes. Da Darren Ross. Let's, let's look at the back. Look at the back. Other way. There we go. All right. So Super Fight, again, is a card. The, the black and white cards are going to yeah, be Yeah, it's a very simple concept, but I mean, like again, it's more of a social game. It's, yeah. The cards are more of like a catalyst to what the game is. Right. And it's, 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 uh, it's interesting, too, because yeah. there's multiple ways to play, oh, multiple yeah. modes. Um, so this game actually has a lot of replay value. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. Again, it's been sold out for a while, but it's back in stock. Yes. So let's get this box open here. If you can. I don't know if I can. Do you know? So it's okay. kindergarten or something. All yeah. right. Whoa. Super 5 discount. Digital version. All right. All right. So, pretty straight up. It's just a bunch of cards. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's in, let's I think they left a little room so you can actually sleeve them too. Yep. So that's nice on their part. Nice. Uh, but I mean, what, you want to just... Let's just grab some random cards here. They're not going to be... They have this first off, um, which is just an advertisement. Uh, and counter fight, fight alert. So, so these are all... Are these the, these are the so those are the, the abilities and uh, the abilities. So if you go to the white cards, um, so let's say the very first one is a Velociraptor, right? Yes. So we ha we have this Velociraptor. Now give me two black cards. Okay. We're just I'm gonna, gonna randomize see. it. So this Velociraptor is an agrophobic. <laughs> <laughs> also, yes. on a segue. Ooh. I feel like that would demerit though, because I don't Velociraptors are probably faster than Segway. Let's see what they're fighting against. Okay, yeah, okay, so, let's do that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're actually, we're playing right now. <laughs> the game works. <laughs> Pick a celebrity. Let's not do that one. Let's, no, okay. let's get a different one. Hermione. Hermione, okay. From from Harry Potter. Harry Potter, yes. Hermione. Uh, Hermione has the ability of, let's see. He, okay, Rando. I'm sorry. Uh, I Rando. choose this one. Hermione. Can run 200 miles per hour, but only in a straight line. She is a wizard. Okay, and then that's more like it. I don't know. I don't know. And armed with a portal gun. I wow, feel like this is that. such an easy like. I mean, compared to these two, I think Hermione would. Win. I think Hermione would totally win. Alan, see, typically in a game, you would argue with your friends about yes. this one. So there are several ways to play. I'm gonna pass over the rule book. We, we yeah, oh yeah, we can just that. go straight in. Here we go. Basic the, rules. The basic rule is you're gonna choose one person to be the ref, basically, out of your friends. Mm -hmm. The ref is gonna have uh, put down a white card and two black cards, and then everyone else is gonna put their own white card and two black cards, and then the ref is gonna choose out of everyone else's choices which could be his, basically, okay. which could be his the most. Uh, and that's the basic uh, turn. You can choose who goes next as a ref. You can go in a circle or anything like that. Basic uh, style. You can also like you can play just two players. You go oh, yeah. there and argue about it. Yeah. Uh, you could. There are so many different ways to play, but the general thing is it's a comparison game. Yeah. And you basically have to make the case of why your set should be picked over their set. Right. This is an obvious choice, I think. I think it's pretty uh, obvious. But someone can make the argument that that one's much better. So it's. I don't know what that argument would be. But well, it would be terrible. you always have that friend, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, they have alternative rules, which are cool. So I mean, the rule book is. I this. mean, the Velociraptor just has to get to Hermione somehow. 
yeah. one, one slice and it's but over. But she can do something about the acrophobia. I'm, yeah. She's also got um, I'm just I'd like to also point out, we, we chose these at random. Uh, for the basic uh, style, the actual play, yeah. uh, you get to draw five of the black cards and uh, five of the white. No, you get to draw three of the black cards and five of the white ones. Uh, and then you can just choose. So yeah. you can build it yourself. Uh, there are different ways to play. I think there was one called, there's the alternative rules, which is the villain battle, um, uh, where one person puts down that, the person to their left tries to beat it. If they can't, the next person tries to beat it and yep. keep going until yep. someone beats it. There's um, also the way, uh, the thing where you can actually uh, play cards on other people's cards to make yes. it weaker. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I think that's called Gladiator or something like that. So like, for instance, if we were playing in Hermione was your card, I could be like, oh yeah, well, you can't turn left now. Oh, that's, I know. It's dumb. <laughs> but no, yeah, you're right. There are, there are there is a game mode where you play a white card and a black card, and then the person to your right or left but what puts if, another card down. What if I did that instead of throws fireballs and, and is on a segue? Now that's kind of scary. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, and then there's another game mode where you can take out all the bad cards, which is subjective. Uh, but let's say, I mean, like agrophobic is obviously not a good thing to be if you're fighting what if someone. I, what if I put Hermione on fire? See, see, now who's gonna win? Figuratively on fire, though. And literally. Oh, and I didn't read that. Oh, okay. See? Hermione's on fire. Well, now she's and she's running. A, she's just a fireball going through, but she can't. You, turn. The point is that you can, <laughs> you can do a lot of things. Yeah, and again, it's a very simple game. Rule book is. Would you even say this is four pages? It's like it's like a fold out, man. It's like a full page because this is half and then it's half. It's, it's not a lot. No, it is not. So Let's drop the card. It's a very simple game. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's basically just an excuse for you and your friends to sit around and argue. Yeah. Let's grab another couple white cards and just see what happens. So a moose. A moose, okay. Let's or multiple moose, because it's is plural. Um, and then let's stress, I'm gonna, you're gonna go from there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put these aside. Um, okay, Can, uh, throws antiques. Okay. Okay, and uh, is a, a wall crawler. Ooh, a wall crawling moose throwing I think that would just be nightmarish, like this to see a moose that's terrible. climbing walls. My creature is gonna be me. <laughs> Me. Okay. I don't like this. I don't like where this is going. Riding a broomstick. There you go. Okay. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Wearing a suit of armor. What's up now, you wall crawling moose? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see that. So, yeah. Uh, so now I have to make the case why I could beat a moose boom. who's throwing antiques and crawling on walls. What, I can fly. What clearly. if instead of throws antiques, uh, has a hostage. What would you do? Ooh, I would. Uh, I would be able to uh, shoot webs like spider. Uh, you got me there. You went. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's a basic game. It's not bad. Yeah. <laughs> Again, this is dumb. It's it's dumb fun. Good yeah, clean fun, fun, I think. Uh, so yeah, let's. Uh, that's pretty much it. You can go check out more at superfightthegame.com. Uh, you can actually check out the rules and see how to play. Yes. Um, there's probably more variants and alternate rules and all yeah. that good stuff. Again, yeah. the rules are like a, a pamphlet. Yeah. A pamphlet. It's, it's not, not even. I mean, come on, come on, man! Something you can read in like a minute. So it's been sold out for a long time. Yes. it's out in stores. There are tons of expansions. Go check it out. Let's hop out for a recap. Well, that was super fight. Super Spy Down Games. Yes. Very cool little box. Uh, again, lots of cool stuff inside. Yes. Uh, let's crunch some crunch some numbers on this one real quick. Uh, price point was thirty-five dollars. Not too bad. Not bad for a card game. Yeah. yeah. A ton of cards in there and lots of replay value. Yes. Again, just with all the different game modes and just. Hours and hours yes. of arguing with your friends on, uh, over why your T-Rex would beat their kindergartners. Right. Yeah, totally. <laughs> and uh, we haven't talked about this yet, but if, if you get bored of the base game, there are expansions out already. Because oh, yeah. uh, this actually has been out for not too long, but uh, enough to there to be expansions. Yeah. They might be harder for five, but they're going to be yeah. more mass-producing. Again, this one was yeah. out of stock for a long time, but it is back now, yes. so go check it out. Especially here in Austin, but yep. I mean, yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking for the course after a while. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's out now, so go check it out. Yes. I'm Adam Harry from Bell. I'm Adam from Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. And this has been another Tabletop Spotlight. Thanks again for watching. Tabletop Spotlight, brought to you by Dragon's Lair Comics and Fantasy. Thanks for watching.